everything about the base run different types of drives based on the speed or characteristics in that we have three types of drives one is constant speed drive second one is constant power drive third one is adjustable speed drive so in the adjustable speed drive we have again two types one is constant torque variable power drive second one constant power and variable torque drives so in the last session we already discussed about constant speed drive that is we are using a shunt motor is constant speed drive and constant power drive in the constant power drive series motor is used as the constant power drive next we are entering into the third drive that is the variable adjustable speed drive adjustable or variable speed drive so in the name itself it represents name itself it represents it is so we can adjust the speed we can adjust the speed just you draw a graph between the power torque power and torque in y axis speed in x axis this is the speed this is the power and torque so if you take the power the red line so just look at the red line again i will draw the red line this is the red line this so red line will up to one point it increases and after that it will goes like this it will goes like this up to some particular speed that is known as the rated speed that is known as the rated speed it will become the constant after the rated speed your still speed is increases but but the power will be constant that means this is the power curve this is rela related to the power curve okay next look at this curve we have another curve is there the curve this is the torque curve up to some particular speed it has a rated uh, constant torque so after completion of that particular point it will become it will become the inversely proportional it will become the inversely proportional so this curve is for power how power varies up to rated speed power versus speed is linear linear mode after the completion of the rated speed power will become the constant what about the torque for the torque up to rated speed the torque will be constant after the so we can name it as rated speed after that it will inversely proportional to the speed that means like this that means like this so in this region just look at here this is the particular region this means this is the particular region in this region look at here torque is constant so that's why constant torque but the power is the variable so this is the variable power for this particular region here power is the constant that means constant power and torque is the variable torque variable torque so this is the characteristics of the adjustable speed drive adjustable so by varying the torque the speed will be constant and constant power drive means by varying the torque first is steel mills first application is the steel mill so the steel mill is nothing but which is the mill which which is used to generate the steel it will produce the steel steel is very much useful metal for us second paper mill paper mill also the mill which is used to generate the paper 
paper mill also one of the important third is the rolling mill third point is the rolling mill rolling mills also very much useful and cement mills cement mills also adjustable speed drives are used next calorie mill calorie mill that means calorie mill means coal mines very much useful in the coal mines the another name of the coal mines is the calorie mills so these are the different different applications of the adjustable speed drive so we should discuss some drive points that is after induction motor dc motors are popular so induction motor is top position generally dc motor is the second position because the applications of this motors due to the applications so alternators are alternators are very popular for generators so you know that in the motors point of view induction motor is the top induction motor is the top and alternators are very popular for generators so olden days whenever dc is required they are used for dc generators now so generally if you require we have in the olden days generally if you require the dc supply directly we are using the dc generators in the initial days olden days but now now it is for olden days but nowadays what we are doing if you want dc supply we are using the alternator by connecting with the rectifier then this ac supply will be converted into the dc that is we are using it has more losses it has less losses that's why we are preferring this okay yeah so this is about the completely different types of drives so we will entering into the next topic the next topic is characteristics of the dc motor next topic is the characteristics of the dc motor so before discussing the characteristics of the dc motor first we will have a brief introduction of the dc motor you know what is the dc motor simply dc motor means which will take the dc supply and which will give our required power so for example i will take the dc shunt motor for example this is the field and this is the armature yeah this is the flux so we are giving some voltage some supply okay this is the current and it will take name itself it will take electrical supply input and it will give the mechanical output so this is the characteristics of the dc this is about general dc motor so we have our intention is to generate the mechanical power and it takes the electrical power right so to understand this we have some particular special characters those characters are generally three types the first is the speed versus armature characteristics armature current so it will it will give generally it will rotates like this generally it will rotate like rotate like this yeah it will rotate with some speed and some torque so here we have the speed so generally it will take some current armature current the first characteristics is speed versus armature current the motor will rotate with the some speed it has some armature current first thing second thing torque versus armature current so it will produce torque versus armature current this is the speed versus armature current and next is the speed versus torque so it will produce some speed and we have the torque speed versus torque these are the some characteristics those are very very much useful so in order to understand these characteristics first we need to have some reference formula that formula is very very important formula in the dc motors the 
generated back emf will be formula is p phi n z by 60a is the formula so here in this what are the constant so p is the constant and z is the constant 60 is the constant a is the constant then how we can write we can write here the speed is proportional to back emf and inversely proportional to speed inversely proportional to speed we, 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 we will use this formula for analysis of the characteristics and next we have another formula torque is proportional to flux into armature current here the generated torque the torque will be we have the flux feed flux and the armature current so these two formulas are very much useful to analyze the characteristics of the DC motor so by using this these two formulas we will understand how DC motors are working how effectively these are giving the better torque better mechanical power okay so this is about adjustable speed drive and applications of the adjustable speed drive and the, we are entering into the characteristics okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you